Hey guys, it's Alina here, and today I have another makeup tutorial for you. Today I decided to do a holiday themed makeup tutorial using the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca Remix Palette. So before we get started, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you love makeup tutorials and you want me to do more of them, because I'd be happy to do that. And yeah, if you're interested in learning how to get this look, be sure to keep watching. I always start with priming my face. Today I used Tarte's Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. Next, I primed my eye area. For the lids, I used Lorax Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. And for the under eye area, I used Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. Be sure to pat the product in gently because the skin around your eyes is very delicate. For the eyes, I started off with Kat Von D's Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. With a fluffy shadow brush, I applied the shade Latinus all over my lid and up to my brow bone. Then I loosely applied the shade Succubus to my crease using a fluffy blending brush. Now it's time for Kat Von D's Mi Vida Loca Remix Palette. With a flat eyeshadow brush, I packed the color Harpsichord onto my lid. Then with a dense blending brush, I applied the color Rewind to my crease. I made sure to focus most of the color on the outer part of my crease. To darken my outer V, I applied the shade Vox using an angled eyeshadow brush. Now back to the face. I used Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer to conceal any blemishes or red areas. To help conceal under eye circles, I applied CoverGirl plus Olay's Eye Rehab Brightening Concealer under my eyes using a patting motion. Next, I applied my foundation. Today, I used one of my favorites, Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation. I applied dots all over my face and then blended them using a flat foundation brush. For additional coverage, I went back in with my Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer. For the under eye area, I applied Urban Decay's Naked Skin Concealer in an upside down triangle and patted it in gently with my fingers. To set my foundation, I applied Revlon's Nearly Naked Pressed Powder with a powder brush in a patting motion. Next, to set my under eye concealer, I applied Levitation from Kat Von D's Shade and Light Contour Palette using a fluffy setting brush. For contour, I used the shade Sombre from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I used the Lorac Pro Contour Brush to apply it under my cheekbones and on the sides of my nose and under my jawline. I then used an angled blush brush to apply it to the sides of my forehead, my temples, and under my jawline. With a blush brush, I applied the color Mood Exposure from the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette on my cheeks. For highlight, I used Radiant Light from the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and applied it to the tops of my cheekbones. Then to get rid of harsh lines, I blend everything through with a stippling brush. Now let's finish up the eyes. I applied Stila's Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner Pen in intense black to my lash line first and then worked on my wings. For my tight line, I used Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Zero and I applied it by looking down and running it along my lash line. I then applied Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Whiskey to my lower lash line. Using a smudger brush, I applied the shade Harpsichord on my lower lash line. Using a pointy eyeshadow brush, I applied incandescent light from the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette to the inner corner of my eyes, my brow bone, and my cupid's bow. For mascara, I use Benefit's Their Real Mascara. I always start with the bottom lashes. I do this by tilting my head down and looking up to apply one coat to my bottom lashes. I then apply two coats to my top lashes by tilting my head up and looking down. This helps prevent me from getting mascara all over the place. To add more shape and fullness to my brows, I use Too Faced Brownie Brow Pencil. 
I outlined the shape of my brows and then filled them in with light short strokes in the same direction as my hair, and I softened it with a spoolie brush. I used Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel to set my brows. Since this is a holiday makeup tutorial, a red lip is a must. My favorite shade right now is Nosferatu from Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick Collection. I always start at the cupid's bow and then fill out the top lip, then move on to the bottom lip. My favorite lashes are Ardell Glamour Wispies. I apply dual lash glue to the lash band, wait 20 seconds for the glue to get tacky, then apply to my lash line. I use the back of an eyeshadow brush to press firmly on the ends. I then disguise the band with more liquid black eyeliner. I set my face using Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. So here we have the finished makeup look. As you can see, it was pretty easy to accomplish, and you can of course change the lip color if you're not comfortable with red. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to subscribe and check out all my other videos. Hope you guys have a good one. See ya!